So you say, tell me in five minutes or less what the preacher said. Well, today the preacher took his text from Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11. He said, man can dwell in three places. Man can dwell in heaven, man can dwell on earth, and man can dwell in hell. He said hell was made primarily for Satan and his minions. But because of the decisions that some men would make, they would join Satan in hell. But hell was not primarily created for man. But unfortunately, by the actions and the decisions some men make, they would join Satan in hell. He said heaven is the throne of God. And God made sure that he created everything that man would ever need before he created man on earth. He said man was created with incredible strength. Uh, some Bible historians tell us that the size of the Garden of Eden is about the size of Los Angeles. And to put one man to tend the size of that garden, that man must have incredible strength. He said man was created with incredible mental ability. Man named all the animals that God created. And when it was done, God said it was good. So for man to have the incredible mental dexterity to name all sorts of animals, he had performed without any education. He had performed any professor of zoology or any professor of animal science. That was how much um, mental capacity that man had. He said man was also created to be king. He was created to rule, to have rulership and have dominion over everything. But unfortunately, man lost that dominion to the devil. Man lost that dominion to the devil. But the crux of the, of the message really was how can you as a man, how can I make heaven to come to earth? make heaven to come to earth. He said, there is only one name that has been given license to operate in heaven, given license to operate on earth, and given license to operate even in hell. All the forces on, in heaven, all the forces on earth, all the forces in hell um, pay homage, are obedient to the lordship of this name. He said, and that name is the name of Jesus. He says, the way you get heaven to come to earth is by calling on this name that has the license to operate in heaven, has the license to operate on earth, and has the license to operate even in hell. So when you find yourself in a crisis situation on earth, when the forces of evil are against you, when the forces of hell are unleashed against you, the only way you to run to is by calling the name of Jesus. And for that name to be efficacious in your mouth, for that name to be efficacious in my mouth, we have to have a relationship with the custodian of the authority that belongs in that name. That's the man Jesus Christ. We have to have a relationship with him so that that name can be efficacious in our mouth. You know the story of uh, the, the person who was trying to cast out devils and they told him, the devils told him, he said, Paul, I know. He said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. But who are you? And before they let the person go, they, they, they beat them up, you know, because they did not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And they do not have the authority to use that name. So for that name to be efficacious in your mouth, for that name to be efficacious in my mouth, we must have a relationship with Jesus. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.